Hello everyone, this is your boy Black Meteor, and today we are playing MechWarrior 5, because I got hounded to death by my lance mates until I did this, so I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm going to play this, and I'm going to record, and I'm going to upload it. Well, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, new campaign. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slowed. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another, engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the great houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the inner sphere dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Max. The year is now 3015, and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries' trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. narrator was fucking terrible. I got nothing. I got nothing. That narrator was garbage. Where the fuck did they dig him up? Can you load any slower, please? This is why I didn't want to get it this early. Because it's got too many fucking problems. Here's my helmet, it's mine. Commander Mason, please report to the hangar for testing. The Centurion is waiting for you. Okay. Now, as I said before, um, I'm diving right into this. I well, I changed a few controls. That's it. Okay, so you're you're coming along for the ride. I'm gonna I'm gonna make you experience every painful moment. Okay, it's not gonna be pretty. I'm not happy. I am not happy. I mean, I was in there watch doing this download on the Epic Games launcher. I, 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 that that time it took to to download this was fucking ridiculous. There you are. Come on, everyone's waiting. Yeah, get to the sure, centurion can, at can, the far end of the hangar and we'll get started. Well, can you let me out? Can you I even get out? What the fuck? I can already tell this is gonna be a great game. It's gonna be a great. Where's the, where the fuck do I go? This game hasn't been on five fucking minutes and it's already on my last nerve. Is there a jump? Is there a fucking jump key? Oh, there it goes. For fuck's sake. All right. Well, I gotta say it does look pretty. Those mechs look like fucking garbage. I mean, that's just fucking lazy. Okay, they, did, they just took MechWarrior Online assets and just crammed them into MechWarrior 5. That's just, that's so fucking lazy. That's so fucking lazy. Come on. I'm on a time crunch here. I've got shit to do. Come on, come on, come on. This is as fast as you can run? Really? Get in there. Come on. Find and board your mech in the hangar. That's what I'm doing. Well, at least the fucking Centurion's black. All right, son. 
Fahad wants us to run the Centurion through its paces to see how it does. Mm -hmm. He spent months getting it operational again after we recovered it from that ruined factory on Ramen 2. Mm -hmm. What a bloody shit all that place was. Hopefully nothing explodes during the test, mate. I'm pretty confident you won't need to eject. No promises though, way. Wow, where the fuck did they get He's him? He's joking, I think. Go on and power her up. Wow, the dialogue is just as bad as I was told. For fuck. We Good. Online. Fahad? Sensors online. Yeah, bring it up the systems now. Online. Okay, online. armor and structure display up. Yeah, it's Weapon up. Weapon systems up. Yes, they're up. Tactical display up. Yes. Everything looks good to go. Keep in mind there's parts on that mech that are at least 200 years old. So ease it forward slowly and we'll see how it goes. Uh -huh. And don't forget to hit the brake once you're clear of the hangar. Yeah. That paint job is atrocious. Look at her go, eh? That's my girl. She's a beauty, isn't she? Who the fuck? Certainly Who is. Who thought those colors looked good? Okay. Engage reverse throttle and navigate into the waypoint I've set up. Use your tactical display to see where you're going. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Right. Nice work. Now revert to your drone cam. I have a drone cam? Let's go ahead and do a left Why right rotation Why don't they just say fucking third person view? Okay, I'm doing it. See, okay. I'm doing it. Now let's make sure the torso is working properly. Try looking around in all directions. Look, it's Good. working. Hooray! As you can see, the torso rotates independently from the leg. You're suffering your with me. Your direction of movement, therefore, may differ from the direction you're actually looking. If you check your tack screen, you can see your current leg orientation is represented by the dotted line. Yes. And your torso orientation is represented by the cone. Go ahead and try auto aligning the torso with your legs. Excellent. I guess I'm not now stopping on a dime the here. Left what the right. fuck? Then try aligning your legs with the torso this time. Looking good. The mobility course is next. Show me how fast just, you can get through those turns while still I'm just hitting gonna, each I'm of just the gonna points. fucking shoot him. I'm just gonna shoot him. Come on. This is a fucking retarded. Come on. I, I got nothing. I got nothing. This is fucking stupid. I know how to drive, Dad. Can we just fucking get on with it? Like I said, you're suffering. You're suffering with me. If I have to suffer, you have to suffer. Nice work. The Centurion was made to have a good balance between speed and firepower. All we have to do now is find out if the weapon systems work. Can I shoot him? Can I find Boy, out? Can I murder him? if the weapons work? You know how long I spent stripping each one of those components and putting them back together again? They'll bloody well work, mate. Those paint jobs are fucking atrocious. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go shoot some stuff. Follow me. Well, I will say this. You at know, least back when I was your age, I once slammed the hunchback I was piloting right into my instructor's javelin. Oh, man. Was he pissed. At the very least, it feels like I'm That's in a mech. Yeah. Go ahead, Rihanna. Thought you'd want to know that all repairs to the Leopard have been completed. We're now spaceworthy and ready to take on our next contract. Uh -huh. How's the kid faring? Bored to death. That's how well, faring. He's a natural, just like his old man. I see humility is still in short supply, as usual. Just don't break that mech. We need it in full working order. Whatever you say, Mom. Whatever you say. I will say this, I feel like I'm in a mech, okay? I will give it that. But those paint jobs, man, come on. Even you got, even you have to agree. That paint job, 
is fucking ridiculous. Who who put that on there? It's like, mm, that's a very nice color. Who fucking did that? Colorblind son of a bitch, that's who. Weapon systems are now online, gents. Be gentle, hey. Uh huh. Always, my friend. No. And I just... Yeah, right. That's a lot of bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> All right. I've mapped the auto cannon to weapon group one. You're free to fire whenever you're ready. Okay. Well, who can I shoot? Can I shoot this clown? No. Yeah, because this is a great place to do a shooting gallery. Next to everything that's fucking flammable. Okay, take note of your ammo levels. Always remember to manage your reserves. You run out of shells in the middle of a firefight. It could be your last one. No shit. Lasers are mapped to weapon group two. Fire them when ready. Come on. All right, that's good enough. Those lasers generate significant heat. You can see the temperature readout next to your armor and structure display. Yeah. All weapons generate heat when fired. You overheat your mech during a firefight, and it could trigger a shutdown. So keep that in mind. The thing now, I already don't like stuff. is that long range it's... missiles are set to weapon group three. The target lock has been disabled for the moment, but never mind that. Just go ahead and fire at will. It doesn't stick out. It's so easily ignored because it just it just blends into the background to where you're just not really noticing it. It's not eye-catching at any level. It's just not. Can I, so I'm just going to blind fire some of this shit. Fine. Well, as you can see, LRMs don't track unless you have a target lock on something. No shit. Yep, they're as dumb as a post without it. Let's try targeting a drone first, and this time before you fire your LRMs. Target acquired. Target. Makes a hell of a difference having that target lock, doesn't it? Not really. Next step is to test moving and firing at the same time. I've set up a series of aerial targets for you. Move through the aerial combat course as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side. Oh, okay, we're going this way now. Great. I got nothing. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. I got nothing. I know I should be talking a lot more and making witty comments. It's just... I mean, Target obviously I'm going to play it. I paid for it. But still, it's just... Yeah, it's just... Target destroyed. Whatever. Alright, where are we? And one of the things that's that's driving me nuts already is the sound. It's so weak. The weapon sounds are so fucking weak. I can't wait for the modding community to sort that shit out. How pathetic is that? When someone's doing this for fucking free and and they can and they can just whoop PGI's ass all day long making better sound modifications. And they do it for free. Keep going. Get this shit over with. <sighs> well, nice shooting. Now take up a position by the barricade. Okay, I've projected three mechs, each with differing damage profiles. You should see them in the ravine below. Target the first one on your left. You can zoom in on the target for a more accurate shot if you need to. Oh, they're holograms. Targeting and telemetry seem even to be, be working. To actually buy a Note whole, the center whole torso on that first mech. It's reading heavily damaged. 
Destroying the CT will destroy the mech no matter it's its relative it's condition. Go ahead and destroy the center torso. Wow, thank. It's blocking my shots. Target. See that second mech? Both legs are heavily damaged. With one leg destroyed, mechs become easy targets. Come on, both come on! Legs, it's over for them. Take out both legs. Take out both legs. Take out both legs. How about I fucking take out your legs? Target acquired. Yes, just fucking. Target. Nicely done. The cockpit on that third mech is seriously damaged. It's a difficult shot to make, especially in the chaos of battle. But the fastest way to take out a mech is to eliminate the pilot. Go ahead and try shooting the cockpit. There you go. Now we're almost done. The battle simulation I've set up for you is the last hurdle. Follow me. You're gonna go head to head with an urban mech. They're slow and poorly armored. Perfect for this particular test. Should be a piece of cake for a pilot like you. Bullying urban mechs. Oh yeah, you're you're fucking big. I mean, where did they fuck? Where the fuck did they get the voice actors? Huh? Fucking bargain bins are us? Again, I know I should be talking. I'm just. Target acquired. Well, how? Where's the fucking minimum range to hit that gun? Come on. Why are you toggling the night vision? Oh, because I still have the fucking view out of Because of course I do! Target. Yeah, nice work. I think we can call it a day. The Centurion seems fully fit and ready for battle. Let's head back. Oh, we're under attack! Oh no! Oh no, because I've already seen some of this. It's already fucking retarded. Let's go, come on. Where are you going? For fuck's sake. I got nothing. I got no I know I should be talking at this point, I just don't fucking care. Really? Are we going the wrong fucking way? Because of course we are! Because they can't be bothered to fucking give proper instructions. I'm not jump cutting any of this. You're getting all of it. Again, you know, it's... It looks pretty. But that... Good graphics does not equal good game. That's just the one thing I can't stand about the, the kids today. Where they think good game means good graphics. And it doesn't. Of course, it's always nice to have good graphics. But it's not the core component. When we get back to the base, we'll buy Fahad a few beers to say thanks. Yeah, nope, that's not gonna of course, happen. we'll have to listen to him gripe about how rough we are on his battle mechs. Small price to pay, I suppose, for having one of the best mechanics in the entire inner sphere. Where the fuck are we at? Oh, we use park? Captain Mason, my senses are showing multiple dropships inbound on our location. And you just told me to took out all my stuff. I'm showing over a dozen bogeys. Captain, I think we're under attack. You think? Come on, let's go. Who we told this to woman to, to think? Base.
Get to the base now. I'm gonna try and draw them off. By yourself? We can fight them together. No. From what Rihanna says, there's too many of them. Don't worry, I'm just gonna distract them. I'll catch up with you. Now go! The dialogue is so bad. It's so bad! Commander, <laughs> the base is under heavy bombardment. I've ordered a full evac. You need to hurry. Uh, yeah. Copy that. We've come for the coordinates. We know you have them. Give them to us, and your family is safe. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who are you? Is that really the way you want to play this? Seriously. Listen to her, Nikolai. It'd be a shame to have to kill your only son over what? A set of numbers. You've done your research, I see. But you're too late. I'm getting us out of here. This is just riveting. This is a riveting cutscene. more interested in a fucking good tech demo than actual decent storyline and decent fucking voice actors. I see people make fan fiction that have more passion than, than these voice actors. I mean, they're just phoning it in. I wonder, did they just actually phone it in? Did they just call up on the cell phone and just phone that shit in? Because that's what it feels like. See, the guy died, I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't know who he is, why he's important. Why should I care? Whatever. Is there a save? Can Commander, I save? Sorry to wake you, but our Citrep has changed. Head to the bridge as soon as possible. Okay, that's it. We're done for now. Fucking awful. I got nothing else to say. Fucking awful. But I'm going to be playing it anyways. I mean, I bought it. I'll play it. But until then, this is your boy, Black Meteor, signing out. It's just fucking, it's fucking awful.